going on guys, uh, today we're going to do a tutorial on uh, slicing a whole rump. So if you've gone to your local butcher shop or your supermarket and you've managed to buy a whole rump and uh, you're not 100% sure on how to slice this and you didn't get anyone to slice it for you, I'm just going to show you how to go about it. So there is a wrong and a right, a right way to do this and if you do slice it wrong you can end up with a real uh, chewy, sort of real just out of shape slice of steak. So what we're going to do here is we'll do a demo. This is obviously the top side of your rub, and you've got this little tail in here, it's called your tri-tip. So this is a good indicator on where to start slicing from. First we're just going to trim this up. Now usually this is a pretty lean piece of rub, Peachester Gold, they are very lean, good, good sort of meat on these, so you just got to go through, get any of that sort of skin off the bottom there where it joins on your bone, trim any of those loose edges up. Uh, usually these will have a big fatty sort of undercover here, like an undercap, but this one's already been a little bit denuded. Just take uh, any of them sort of pieces off. Come down towards your tail, you get any of that out just because it can be a little bit sinewy and chewy. And usually a good grain of fat, as you can see there, will go all the way under the front of the rump there. So if you just sort of nick that out, That'll be plenty. This one's pretty lean, as I've just said. Now, the wrong way to do this will be coming along your rump like that. You don't want to make your steaks go along your rump on an angle. You need to have it straight. The best way to indicate how to cut these is start with your tri-tip here at the end. That's the tail end of your rump. So that's the back of your rump. This is the front of your rump. So when you fold this over and you're going to start slicing, you want to be slicing that way. If that'll give you a good against the grain cut, it's going to give you tender steaks. If you do this way, you're sort of flowing with the grain of the rub there. As you can see, it's sort of you'll see the grain at the back. You don't want you don't want your steaks looking like that. So that's going to be tough, hard to chew. So the first cutty rump face cut is always a little bit out of shape, so. You can take that off if you've got one of these at home. You can take it off. That'll be fine to strip up in the stir fry or whatever you want to do with it. Stews, there's nothing wrong with that cut. It's just to get, if you want to get your nice shape there, you usually take that first one off. Now slicing, good sharp knife. There you go. You bring your, there's, there's your rough. We'll go another one there. however thick you'd like but that's that's how your rub should turn out looking you save yourself a lot of money buying these whole they're always cheaper to buy wholesale so if you want to save yourself some bucks get yourself a whole one take it home and slice it up it's that easy so there you go